I had my code printed out here and I had a useless while loop in here so I'm just going to start with a main function like I have a main function here and then I'm going to do a system function like a type system and I'm going to add a title and I'm going to call it Merry Christmas since this is a Christmas edition alright and now I'm going to change the color as well I've already gone over these so I'm not going to show you the little trick I used to find the color that I wanted but 04 it should be I think it's uh, it's black and black and red I think and so there's that now I'm going to initial I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna initialize my rows to 13 and I'm going to initialize the columns to 34 you can you can do all these yourself you can change the dimensions I like this one it gave me a pretty good result so I won't I won't go over the uh, API stuff here yet I'll go ahead and start making a package so for int x I'm using x and y here for obvious reasons you have an x-axis and you have a y-axis x equals 0 x is less than uh, rows x plus plus and then inside of this I'm going to see out a new line with this escape function right here now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside of this for loop and I'm going to create another dimension I guess you could say or axis y is less than columns y plus plus you really have to be careful with this dev c++ uh, formatting because it doesn't come out too clean and inside of this I'm just going to output our star which is the character that I'm going to be using to make the package out of and so right now if we run this we should just get a blank package actually it'll probably be red yeah it's red so there's that okay now let's create ribbons out of green color now I'm gonna set up a API function now so don't get freaked out or anything I'm gonna say handle H console just memorize this and know what it does you can look it up if you want but I just memorize it get std handle std output handle I can spell and now first of all I'm gonna I'm gonna include windows.h this is going back to those includes this is the whole reason I'm using dev C++ windows.h is just functions defined in the windows.h header file and pretty much all API and I think all API is declared in windows.h so you'll always have to include that if you're doing something with that if you're using Linux or some other operating system it's going to be different it's not going to be windows.h it's going to be something else 
I don't know what those include files are. You can probably Google them and find them. So I'm not much help if you're on Mac or anything either. So all right, now we're going to actually call that function inside of our for loop here. So under this, we're going to say if y equals equals 16. So if it equals the 16th row, or actually the 16th column, then I'm going to get everything set up here. I'm going to set console text attribute, and then I'm going to call the h console, and I'm going to make it color two. This is in numbers just like the other color was. And so C out. And then I'm going to change the. You don't have to change this, but I'm going to change it just so you can distinguish it from the rest of the package. I'm going to make the ribbon out of plus signs. Now. I'm also going to add else if y equals equals 6. So if you're on the 6th column, then I'm going to I'm going to I'm just going to copy and paste this because it's going to be the same, I believe. Should be the same, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. So that, and then I'm also going to see out the plus sign. Generally, I don't like copy paste for coding, but in this case, since I'm pretty sure I've got everything coded right, <laughs> I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to type that, I'm just going to copy paste this whole thing. Except I'm going to change the row to 25. And so this is going to give us three, ba three strands of ribbon going up our package. So let's go ahead and show this. If it'll run, I think it'll run. Yep. 